So let's install IIS. So we're going to get out of PowerPoint and we're going to go to the server manager. This is where we can install roles uh, on our server. So we see we are at the roles node of the server manager. So we're going to select add roles. And here's the list of roles that are available on this edition of Windows Server. And we see near the bottom here we have web server IIS. So we're going to check that box and then select next. And it's going to give me some information about what I'm installing. And then it's going to allow me to select the specific components that I want to install. Now we want to, we want to keep this to the minimum of, minimum of what we need to, to run the website that we're going to be running. So as we go through these demonstrations, we're going to be working with ASP.NET sites. So we're going to select ASP.NET. And then that shows some dependent components that we're going to need. So I'm going to add those required roles and services. And then we'll just continue to look through the list. And now we can come back and add things later. So I'm going to uh, leave some things for later um, demonstrations to add. We're going to, I'm going to select dynamic content compression. Um, I'm going to add the management service. This will allow me to manage this server from a, a remote, remote machine. Um, and I think that's it for now. So once I've selected the components I want to install, I select Next, and it gives me an overview of what I'm going to install, and so I select Install. Now it's going to go through the installation process, and then when it's finished, it will give us a summary screen. So our installation is finished. We see that it's, it was a successful installation, so we can go ahead and click Close. And now we can go to the Start menu. If we look under Administrative Tools, we'll find the IIS Manager. And we'll see we now have a running installation of IIS.